Okay, so here's the basic twirl to roll over opening. Um, I think I've also seen this move called the basic open to thumb over. It's the same move. Uh, what you're going to need to know is the basic twirl. If you're not familiar with that or you don't know it yet, uh, you need to learn it. Go check out my in-depth tutorial on it. And uh, from here on out, I'm going to already assume you know the move. So I'm not going to go into detail on how it's done here. Like I said, if you need reference, check out my other tutorial. You start in the forward uh, closed grip position, bite handle on the left, and just start out with a basic twirl. So swing out the bite handle, reposition your index finger, bring it up towards you, lever down, get your thumb in there. Now here's where it differs. Because with the basic twirl, what you would do is just go into that open position right there. But instead of doing that, you're going to use the same motion and the same grip, but you're going to let it roll over your thumb. So here's where the rollover begins. Get your thumb back in there. Now this is all one continuous motion here. Uh, so you got to use your momentum here. But I'll try to break it down into each step on here. Just lever up with your thumb until that bite handle goes up and over. Now retain your grip with your index and your thumb. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slide your thumb down just a little bit. As that kicks over, slide your thumb down a little bit and momentum will carry this up and over. The reason I slide my thumb down is because it's easier to stay in contact with the knife the whole time. Uh, like I said, this is a rollover. It rolls over your thumb, stays in contact. So that just helps facilitate it a little bit. Momentum's carrying this bite handle up and over. And it rolls over your thumb. And then you re-grip the bite handle. And from here, an important thing here, because as you can see, I'm on the bite handle and I got the business side of the knife coming down on me just move your index finger up to the very top of that bite handle that way as momentum carries the safe handle and do it soon because you know momentum is working against you you're you know going against the clock here as that comes down when that swings down if your finger is up at the very top you're not going to get bit by the knife then from here just grip open up the uh, handle here so you have a clear path and open it up just like that so once again uh, from the beginning swing it out swing it back in lever it up get your thumb and like I said one continuous motion here just roll it over let momentum do its work it's gonna stay in contact with your thumb the entire time you're going to grab the outside of the bite handle with your fingers. Move your index finger up as that swings around. Make sure you don't get bit here. And then just swing it back open. Now, another thing that can help you on the, uh, for the rollover is to practice it from a partial position just practice the rollover from here till you get used to it if you're having trouble with it and just practice rolling it up and over and it doesn't have to be fast and you want us you know kind of give it a circular motion with your hand to help you you just want a smooth roll that's what you're going for is something smooth that rolls over your thumb so just practice this you know, that's a good exercise to practice uh, until you get used to rolling it over and then you can start the move from the beginning. Like I said, it doesn't need to be quick. You just want it smooth. So, from the beginning. And that's the basic twirl to roll over opening. Here's a couple variations on the, the basic twirl to roll over opening. Uh, the first variation starts 
in the open position with the blade facing towards you and you're just gonna just like you did the basic portal rollover now once you do the rollover here's where it differs because as that rolls over this time you're gonna grab the top handle which will be the safe handle you're gonna grab it like that gripping it between your index and your thumb the other fingers are just resting lightly on the side of the safe handle and then from here just swing it up into this uh, downward or ice pick type of grip the second variation is also like the first one but it's starting out like the basic twirl rollover in a closed grip forward position and again once you do the rollover again this time you know on the basic twirl rollover you're grabbing the bottom handle which would be the bite handle this time you're grabbing the safe handle again up top like that swing it into closed position so that way you start from a closed and you end in a closed uh, backhand type of grip so you can go into uh, from here you could go into a, a zen rollover or any other move which makes use of a backhand grip like this um, so just some variations to think about when you're doing combo work it's important to understand what you can get into and out of your beginning position and your ending positions uh, so that way you can uh, you know link your combos and your moves together without having to go through any of their you know unnecessary repositioning so I hope that helps